A federal moratorium on evictions has been extended to the end of March, but that is not stopping landlords from trying to oust tenants who are not paying their rent. News 6 uncovered thousands of evictions that are winding their way through central Florida courts. But where are the hardest hit areas? News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval crunched the numbers and found out the numbers have some heartbreaking stories. Daltonia Thomas called News 6 for help as soon as Orange County Sheriff's deputies showed up at her door. Is that how long you've lived here? Yes, almost two years. Armed with an eviction order, they told her that she, her boyfriend, and her five children had to gather what they could and get out of their rental home. What are you going to do now? We don't, I don't know. We don't know. Can you talk to me about how hard it was to find a job over the last year? I mean, especially with the whole Corona thing, um, it was pretty difficult. Andino and Thomas lived in the 32808 zip code. News 6 examined all of the open evictions filed since June of last year in Orange County, and we found out their zip code has among the highest number, with 207 cases still pending. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, nearly 70% of the people who live there are African American, and 26% of them work in the hospitality and service industries, which were hard hit by the pandemic. We deal with people low, low income, and you know, they're hit the hardest by this. Jeffrey Hussey is the litigation director for the Community Legal Services of Mid Florida. He says his staff is getting ready for what he calls a tsunami of new evictions. That wave is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger because the moratoriums are great. That's that's saving people's housing, but it just keeps pushing the problem down the road. We jumped in to get results for Thomas and her five children. I have when her information, off. and with her permission, um, she's told me to, it's okay to share it with you. We also contacted Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill, who serves Thomas's district. I've walked in Del Tanya's shoes at one point in my life where I was homeless with three small children. Hill says she immediately helped Thomas enroll in a city program that helps people financially impacted by COVID with a temporary place to stay. As a result, Thomas now tells us she has a job and she's about to get a new place of her own. I just want to thank you though, Eric. This never would have happened uh, to help this family of seven if you personally had not got involved in care. Now, Thomas and her children are just one family facing COVID-related eviction. See how many other families there are facing the same thing by heading to our website, clickorlando.com. There you'll find some recommendations just in case you or someone you know may be at risk of losing their home. In Orange County, Eric Sandoval, Getting Results, News 6.